Um, my name's Neil Williams. Uh, I'm a data scientist uh, and I've got a background in electronics, software engineering and, uh, and IT management. Um, I principally work in the electricity industry and, and I've got clients large and small uh, all, all around the world. Um, I live in the south of Sweden, so I'm, I'm sort of slap bang in the middle between the, uh, the elastic meet-up chapters in Stockholm and, uh, and London, so I don't get to meet, meet uh, the elastic communities as much as I would like, unfortunately, but great, great, to, be, great to be here. Um, so as the title says, I'm going to talk about Python, GPT and, and, uh, and Elastic. Um, just just a, word of, a word of warning, there's no code in the presentation. So hopefully um, that, that, that fits the audience for the uh, for last thing after, after a long day. Um, happy to talk about code um, uh, in, in the breakout session but uh, there's no code in the, uh, in, in the presentation. Um, at, at Elasticon um, 2023, I, I, I shared a case study um, from, from Champion Energy. They're a small um, a supplier of electricity based, based in the UK, and it, it really was a, a case study in, in, in frugal engineering, how, how to do less uh, how to do more with, with less. And, and it was a very atypical use of, of the elastic stack. Um, and, and when I presented it, um, I, I kind of felt like I was a, bit, a little bit of an imposter coming into this elastic community and doing this kind of left field e example. But, but um, I, I really like the elastic stack and, and I've been using it for, for about uh, five years now. And um, there's not a day goes by where, where uh, I, I know it's the, it's the right stack for the, the, the type of work that, that I'm doing. And if we fast forward to today, well, well what's happened since that Elasticon in, in 2023? Well, ChatGPT um, ha, ha, has arrived. Um, and, and ChatGPT um, is, is, is rooted in, in data science, and, and think of it. Think, think of this whole uh, revolution like, like the tree on, on, on the screen. Um, the, the trunk is, is NLP, and branching off, we have all the different flavors of uh, LLMs. GPTs seems to be very the most popular. And, um, and, and at the, 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 uh, the leaves of the tree, um, we can think of that as being the, uh, being the applications. And um, this, this, this evolution or revolution, however you, you, you want to look at it, it's, it's, it's reshaping search, absolutely. Um, and, and it's clearly um, disrupting um, traditional methods of, 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 of searching. Generative AI is certainly taking center stage. I don't think anybody would disagree with that. Um, and um, Elastic, during this, this period, has uh, repositioned itself as the, the AI search company. Uh, and I think it's, it's taking a, a very clear leadership position. On my side, <laughs> um, I've written a book. I've written a book called uh, the Python GPT cookbook. Um, so I'd, I'd like to think um, uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a guide uh, for, for the enlightened. Um, there's, there's 15 chapters, 73 recipes, lots of Python code in there. But as I said earlier, I'm, I'm, I'm not going through uh, code in, in the presentation. Um, it ranges um, in, in topics from, from, from prompt engineering through, through data science to, to, to enterprise IT. Um, and the, the ecosystem um, that, that, that I, I, I find is a good fit for, for, um, for my use cases, open AI, elastic, no surprises, uh, hugging face, PyTorch, TensorFlow, MLflow, 
uh, Holoviz, which is, is, is a data science library, which I, I, I find really useful. Uh, Azure for, for hosting uh, applications. Prefect for, for workflow automation. And, uh, and our good old friend, Docker. Um, so the rest of the, uh, the, the, the talk, or the, or the main part of the talk, is, is to dip into um, some of the chapters that I think have got particular relevance to, um, to, to Elastic. So um, my chapter seven is about, um, about vector databases. And if, if AI w was a car, um, a vector database is, is a bit like the GPS system. Um, it helps find the nearest relevant data points, just like GPS helps find routes and, and show you where you are. Um, but instead of roads, um, it's mapping relationships in, in really high dimensional space. Um, and there's lots of implement, implementations. The, the, the word cloud there sh shows um, what you'll find on, on Wikipedia. Um, and Elastic, as you know, are, are in the vector database market. And um, I believe it, it's the number one downloaded vector, vector database. Um, in the book, um, I, um, I kept things simple for the recipes. So the, the, the vector database recipes um, uh, use Annoy fr from um, Spotify. Um, but the, 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 the types of things that, uh, that I explore in the book, um, uh, the, the algorithms for searching, um, the visualization of, of, of these large multidimensional spaces, the, the, the distance metrics, the, the background is, is applicable to, uh, uh, to any vector database. The code uh, is transferable to, uh, to, to Elastic, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Um, chapter 10, I, I, um, I look at enterprise um, uh, GPT. And, and, and my, my feel for, for, for enterprise GPT is it, it's centered on the, on the RAG model. And um, we, we know how, um, how Elastic is, is positioning itself <coughs> um, with its relevance engine to be uh, an important component um, of, of, of the RAG model. I think also uh, in, in enterprise IT, um, uh, observability and security are, 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 are paramount. We need trust um, and compliance, and we need insights into how we're using AI. And, and, <coughs> and I see uh, Elastic positioning itself very strongly in, in, uh, in that realm. So um, enterprise IT, um, Elastic is an important component to, to bringing GPT into, uh, into the enterprise. In the book, I've, I've got um, um, three chapters uh, covering different application areas, um, sales and marketing, uh, manufacturing, and, uh, and intellectual property. Um, and and um, chap chapter 12, particularly on, on intellectual property, um, I, I've found um, you know, look, looking at thought leadership in, in the legal profession of, of, of what is the impact of AI, um, we, we see clearly that, that uh, it's going to create new casework challenges for, for, for lawyers. Um, it's also going to automate the, the, the legacy processes. Um, and it's going to um, develop, it's, it's new business models are going to emerge for, for, for legal practices. And there's a lot being said. Uh, by this gentleman, R Richard Suskind, um, about AI and technology in, in the legal profession. He's, he's got a, a, a new book coming out uh, this spring, uh, How to Think About AI, a guide for the perplexed. I don't think there's going to be any code in, in that book, um, but uh, I think what, what Richard Suskind gives us 
is a perspective of how to um, how to think um, how to think about AI in a business context. And, and if there's one thing that, that I'm learning in, in this this world of uh, generative AI, GPT, is that domain knowledge is becoming more and more important for, for technical people because the tools allow uh, innovation to happen at such a faster rate. If, if you know, if you have domain expertise and technical expertise, it, 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 it's, uh, it, it, it's uh, a really powerful combination. Um, re regards applications for um, for the legal profession and, and, and Elastic, um, I, I think um, I think the Elastic stack is is, is developing uh, features that, that will be useful in in um, scenarios like. Um, Patent search um, and um, patent uh, authoring, uh, building gold standard databases of, of, of patents. Um, so lots of um, uh, I have lots of ideas of, of, of how Elastic will, would would be uh, applied to the legal profession, and in other chapters looking at, at, at sales and marketing and manufacturing. And the key point is in in, in all of these practical applications, um, Elastic is, is, is providing that, that GPS, that GPS system for, for, for these uh, solutions. Not, not content with, with writing um, uh, 15 chapters uh, about um, uh, Python and, and, uh, and GPT. Um, I've written a bonus chapter about um, how to write a book with GPT. So quite an interesting meta um, thing going on there, writing about GPT with, with, uh, with GPT. Um, very much streamlining the workflow. Chat GPT, great, um, uh, great search assistant. Um, but cre you know, creating a lot of data trying to do a retrospective on, on conversations that I had with a, a research assistant six months ago. Really difficult. Uh, Elasticsearch came to the rescue for me. Um, I took my, I extracted my chat history um, out of ChatGPT and I've indexed it in, in Elastic and I get insights um, uh, around conversations that I remember having with, with, uh, with ChatGPT many, many months ago. I can't find those conversations going through the, uh, the user interface, but with the help of Elastic, it gives me that, it gives me that perspective. So, key takeaways from, from, from my perspective of, of, of this journey over the last couple of years. Um, I, think, I think this AI transformation that we're going through, it's, it's gonna be a long winding road um, I think there's no doubt um, that, that Gen AI is, is, is reshaping uh, the enterprise. I, I believe strongly that, that, that Python uh, has, has got an important role to play in that. It's the lingua frank, franca of, of, of AI. Um, and Python and, and GPT, they love Elastic. It's, it's, it's a marriage made, <coughs> marriage made in heaven. Absolutely, from, from, from my perspective, um, Elastic is, is the AI search company and I'm going to enjoy being on the rest of this journey. I've had a great five years working with Elastic and I'm, I'm looking forward to the next 10 years or so as, as, we, um, as we navigate this, this, this amazing journey that, that, that we're on. Um, kind of some, some, some afterthoughts, you know. A lot of talk about AI, but, but what, what the hell is AI? This this artificial intelligence definition, I I, I don't like it. Um, for me, AI is about uh, advanced insights. Um, it's about um, accelerated innovation. It's about bringing um, awesome impact. I'm also in the business of consulting. 
So uh, AI, <laughs> AI is also about up, uh, apps or invoices. Um, it's, it, it's a gold rush. There's a lot of um, BS out there, but there, there, there is a lot of gold out there in them there holes too. Um, and um, I think it would be, be interesting to hear, to hear uh, other people's, uh, you know, the Q&A, um, uh, what, what, what the audience thinks of, uh, of, of this, uh, this journey that we're on. Um, I'm an engineer, um, and I always fall back on Fred Brooks. He said there was no silver bullets. And large language models, chat GPT, it's no silver bullet. Yeah? It's transformational for sure. It's going to change the way, the way we work. But fund fundamentally, um, our, our, our jobs as software engineers, as IT professionals, is going to remain, remain the same. We're just going to be elevated to a new level. Um, so if, if you're not familiar with, with Fred Brooks, Thoroughly recommend going back and looking, looking at his, uh, his 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 essays and interpreting them in in this new new world of uh, generative AI. Round of applause for our final speaker, Neil. Please, everybody.